Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeffrey Jose and I'm back to you once again. The application season for undergraduates, master's, doctorate degree is still open and in November 1st, more schools will be opening. I've already made some videos on the required documents that you'll be needing in order to successfully apply to any program of study in any university whether in Europe, the United States of America, Canada, Australia and so on. At the moment, I have been able to come up with another university that does not charge application fees. Okay, I realize that one of the major problems that we face as international applicants is having to pay so much money as application fees and with this university that I'm about to introduce to you you do not have to pay any application fee if you have not subscribed to my channel uh, please do well to subscribe and like my videos so that you would be receiving more and more and more it is a way of encouraging me okay so let's not waste my time let's get on to and the university that I'm about to introduce to you today. The university that I want to introduce to you today is the University of Delaware. The University of Delaware is a public land grant research university located in Newark, Delaware. It is the largest city in Delaware. It offers three associate programs, 148 bachelor's programs, 121 master's programs. Last time that I posted um, a video on Michigan Technology University, I received some comments in my uh, email asking me to source for a university that has more programs and uh, would also cover more fields. I mean those in the education aspect were feeling that Michigan Technology University wasn't providing so much programs that they can apply to. I think with the University of Delaware you would have so much variant programs that you can apply for in your undergraduate and your master's degree. Okay, If you haven't watched my previous videos, please do watch my previous videos. It will highlight you more on the documents that you've been needing in order to successfully apply to any foreign university abroad okay so the official website of the university of delaware is www.udel.edu now let's get into the website of university of delaware immediately you click on the link to the university of delaware this is what you'll be seeing uh, your feature starts now become a blue hen that is your slogan university of delaware they are the blue hens okay and this is the home page of the University of Delaware. There's your home page. Okay. Uh, so blue and yellow. So beautiful. Okay. But that is not why we are here. And I wouldn't like to be scrolling down. As I said, that is not why we are here. For those who are international applicants and you want to uh, apply to the University of Delaware, you just have to come under this button prospective students where you can find undergraduate admissions and graduate admissions for the purpose of your master's degree just click on graduate admissions then you'll be brought to this page where you can actually see some of the available graduate programs that you can apply to and so on it says explore our programs we have graduate programs over here apply now uh, funding opportunities okay so there are a whole lot of them over here so without much ado let's move on to some available graduate programs that are offered in the University of Delaware the faculties are here faculty of arts and humanities offer African studies at conservation at history at history for museum professionals a childhood education in languages you also have the Faculty of Biological and Health Sciences. There are a number of programs over there, Animal and Food Science. We have Applied Physiology, Athletic Training, Biological Sciences. 
We have the Faculty of Business and Economics for those accounting students, the Business Administration students. This is where you would have to be going to. And those in the other sciences and engineering, the mathematics, the physical sciences and the engineering, there are a number of engineering programs over here, applied mathematics, applied statistics online, bioinformation and computational biology, a whole lot. We also have the Faculty of Social Sciences. That is where you find the early childhood development and programming, disaster science and management, communication, and a whole lot. These are just the faculties and the major programs that they are offering. If you want to see the specific programs, you just have to click on this view all programs, okay? And you'll be brought to a page where you can see each of the master's degree programs that are offered by the University of Delaware. So we can start with accounting, accounting practice online, Africana studies, agriculture and economics. There are a whole lot, about 148 master degree programs which you can apply to. Last time we realized that uh, with the Michigan Technology University, yes, Michigan Tech University, we realized that most of their programs are science related or ICT related. Those in the humanities, you weren't actually finding so much programs uh, to apply to at the Michigan Technology University. With University of Delaware, you have a wide range of programs that you can apply to, okay? You have a wide range of programs that you can apply to. In fact, so many of them, those doing music, uh, the sciences, education, Last time that I posted a video, uh, some I received some emails asking me to source for universities that offer education programs. Please, there are so many education programs over here. Okay, there are so many of them over here. We have education, we have education and social policy, educational leadership, educational statistics and research methods, educational technology. Okay, so all that you have to do in order to learn more about any of the programs that are available on the university website, you have to click on any of the programs. Over here, I'll just click on educational technology. Okay, educational technology. Let's read something small about the program. It says the Master of Education in Educational Technology EDTC program is based on the assumption that new media and the internet can have a positive impact on teaching and learning. The EDTC program provides a master's degree candidate with both a theoretical and a practical grounding in educational technology methods and techniques, emphasizing theories of teaching and learning that support these methods. To demonstrate mastery of the program goals, all candidates complete the same series of seven program assessments. Okay, so you'd also have to read about the program deadlines it says for those who are applying for fall your deadline is 15th i guess meaning your deadline is past 15th i guess is already past final deadline to apply it's past so you don't have to for those who want to apply for the winter season your deadline is december 1st for those who want to apply for the spring your deadline is january 23rd of 2023 for those who want to apply for the summer your deadline is may 27th the tuition fee is 773 dollars Per credit hour, but that is not what we are concentrating on now. No, we are not concentrating on that now. So we need to go back to the programs page. Okay, let's return to the programs page. Now, there are some few things that you need to know before you apply to the University of Delaware. Okay, the required document that you need. I've already spoken a lot about the specific or the required document that you'll be needing for any master's degree undergraduate or for any doctorate degree abroad there are certain documents that you need i've already highlighted them in my previous videos if you haven't watched please go back and watch those videos so i'll just highlight a, a few details about the requirements or the documents that you'll be needing in order to apply uh, for any program of study in the University of Delaware. You might want to ask, what are the required documents that you have to submit when you are applying to any program of study in the University of Delaware? 
In this section, I'll be taking you through the required document, whether or not you'll be paying uh, for any application fee, how you're supposed to go about uh, your documents or your application. So, when you want to find out, just click on graduate programs. For the purpose of making this video much faster for you, I've already opened those terms okay you just have to right click and you go to open link so you'll be brought to this page as an international student you are not a domestic applicant domestic applicants are those who are in the united states at the moment so if you are a domestic applicant then you can click on this but for an international applicant uh, those coming outside from the united states you are international applicants and these are the requirements that you have to be able to get okay it says choose your graduate program start your online application okay this is just the application route the first thing that you'll be needing are your transcript i've already opened uh, the session for the transcript we just have to go there now when you're applying to the university of delaware you need what we call unofficial transcript unofficial transcript is the transcript that has been given to you by the university that you are currently attending or you have just completed okay the transcript that was printed for you the one that is with you the student that is what we term as the unofficial transcript in the course of your application university of delaware allows you to upload the unofficial transcript you are not required to upload any official transcript an official transcript is the one that has been issued by the university street to the university of delaware without having to pass through you okay so it is either sent by mail or by post but when you are applying or when you are filling your application form you do not have to upload your official transcript they will only need your unofficial transcript so the one that you have taken from your university all that you have to do is to scan it okay when you scan it you just upload it into your application portal and you are good to go when you are offered admission that is when they will ask you to provide the official transcript and with that you either have to get a stamped one from the university that you've completed from or you ask your university to send your official transcript straight to the university of delaware you'll be given a specific email that you would have to send those documents through you just have to do that and your official transcript are sent directly to the university of delaware okay now the second thing that you'll be needing are recommendation letters recommendation letters are one of the most important documents and one of the most difficult ones to get down when you need recommendation letters how many do you actually need in order to successfully apply to the university of delaware you need three okay three recommendation letters and they all should be academic if you have completed your previous university within a period of one to three years okay all your recommendation letters should be academic recommendation letters okay they should come from your lecturers they should come from your professors in the university where you have completed you will be needing three of them for those who have been out of the academic world for a period of let's say five years or more you will be required to produce one recommendation letter or two from your professors at the university where you completed from and the third one can come from your supervisor at your workplace or the workplace where you are currently working or even a colleague friend that you work with okay you will not be required to produce all three from academic recommended uh, recommenders you only be required to produce only two academic recommenders and one professional recommender the next one that you have to take note are your scores okay for the scores they do take the IELTS the TOEFL you can see it over here right here uh, for TOEFL they need a minimum speaking score of 18 minimum score of 79 that is 100 of some programs to fill paper base they need a minimum score of 550 or 600 for some programs 
they need a minimum score of 61 that is 82 for some programs separate evaluation for speaking proficiency required so for TOEFL but then <laughs> do not worry okay I source for the University of Delaware making sure that for those who are coming from English speaking countries like Ghana Nigeria South Africa the Gambia those in New Zealand India and other English speaking countries, especially those in the Commonwealth of Nations, you do not need to produce any English proficiency test score. All that you are required to do is to identify that you are coming from a country that uses English as its medium of instruction. Okay, so if you have been to any university that uses English as its medium of instruction please you are not required to produce any TOEFL or IELTS or anything no it will be completely weighed for you if you are an applicant from Ghana immediately you say or you identify yourself as a Ghanaian and having studied in Ghana you do not need to provide any test course okay the next thing that you'll be needing is your application nurses your application essays i told you that with these application essays you would have to be writing them yourself your application essay has to follow some particular guidelines you can see over here that the programs are listed over here most of the programs unless your program of study or the program that you really want to study is not listed over here if your program is listed over here then they have a specific way that you should write your application essay or your study essay okay uh, generally it's known as the statement of purpose or the personal statement please statement of purpose and personal statements are not the same let's just click on any program of study over here communications when we when we click on communication they are telling us to describe how your research interest relates to the research expertise to the department faculty okay so those who are interested in educational leadership this is what you have to write about this is explain why you are applying to this program that is why do you want to be admitted to the education in educational leadership okay master of education in educational leadership the ed in educational leadership requires that candidates be involved in planning and implementing a series of initiatives targeted at specific improvement needs that candidates identify and in which they may exercise leadership describe the contents and responsibilities in your current position which would allow you to exercise leadership so pertaining the specific program of study that you have decided to apply to you are required to produce a specific statement of purpose in a specific order you'll be required to follow certain guidelines those guidelines are here unless your program of study is not outlined over here there are some programs of study that would need supplemental documents okay if your program of study demands that you produce some supplemental document if your program of study has been listed in any of these that have been made available over here then you need other documents other than the one that I've just spoken to you about okay so if we go into the arts education let's see the supplemental documents that are available is this how to apply Application forms and information on degree requirements may be requested from the graduate college or from the uh, information over here, the Professor uh, Professor Monica Dominguez Torres, Director of Graduate Studies. You can request some information from her as to the supplemental document that you'll be needing. The first supplemental form that you'll be needing is proposed field of study, field of writing samples, foreign language information. You also be needing a list of art history courses taken. Okay, so if your program of study has been listed over here, eh, as you see over here, then you'll be needing supplemental documents. Okay. Now we go to the application portal. Over here, you'll be required to state whether you are a returning user. If you have applied to the University of Delaware, 
the previous year 2021 and you want to apply this time you can choose a returning user okay you are a returning user but if you are a first time user then you would have to create an account the account creation is so 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 easy okay once i click on it it opens a new link i'm sent to the page all that you have to do is to type in your email address you also type in your first name your last name and your date of birth i've advised you that do not use someone else's email address if you do not have a separate email address only for your university applications please create one do not use the normal email address or the one that you've been using for your day-to-day -day communication please don't use that email address i would want you to create a new email address use gmail create a new email address that you'll be using only for university applications so that your email wouldn't be flooded up with so many mails from these universities you would lose track of some very important mails and i don't want that to happen to you besides that you'll be needing your curriculum vita is over here your resume your curriculum vita please make sure that the program of study that you are choosing you have a prior training or prior working experience if you are applying uh, for a program in educational technology make sure that you are a teacher you have taught for some number of years the minimum is two years okay the maximum can be i don't know any number of years that you have taught that depends on you but at least you should have taught for two years okay so make sure that you also present your resume the university of delaware charges application fees if you are not aware the university of delaware charges application fee but for all those who would watch this video to the end you only have to send me an email i'll put my email in the bio please send me an email request for the application waiver code and i will send it to you through email for those who have been able to contact me through email uh, speaking of enoch uh, ishmael debbie and her sister millicent they know how fast i am able to reply any mail that is sent to me so do not worry about having to send an email and waiting for a week please the 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 fastest time that i can respond to your email is within five minutes when you send it to me yes i'm not bragging within five minutes i'll receive your email and i'll reply so without much ado i think i have been able to explain so much so much so much it's written over here application fee of 75 dollars if you send me the email i'll give you the code that you can use to waive this application off you do not need to pay for any application fee as i'm saying i have the application waiver code if you apply i will give you the application waiver code and this 75 dollars will be waived off so i'll urge you to subscribe to my channel i'll be making another video where i'll send you to the application portal you see things for yourself how the application can be done okay you do not you do not need uh, to pay any application fee for applying to the university of delaware i wish you good luck do well to subscribe to my channel like this video uh, turn on your notification button so that you wouldn't uh, miss any video that i'll be uploading henceforth thank you very much and have a good day know that you really really have to protect yourself if you do not have the required document be well or be sure to get all these documents i've made videos on how to get some of these documents especially with your recommendation letters i've i've explained to you the fastest way to get them please do watch my previous videos and apply to the university of delaware if you need any help just send me an email and i'll reply to you thank you very much and goodbye to you all.